The movie begins in Japan, March 2011, after the tragic earthquake caused by the tsunami. After this tragic event, the international community sent help to Japan to rescue a lot of people. A doctor talks to people that are trapped under buildings using a microphone attached to a camera. One of the people under the building, named Nina, describes her situation to a doctor, and the doctor assures her that they are going to help her. She also asks the doctor to stay and talk with her. After listening to the story of her father and mother, the doctor tells her that he had five fathers, and all are dead. Nina said that it's impossible to have five fathers, so he started to share his story. It was in the autumn of 9042, Russian soldiers crossed the Volga River to get a hold of the riverbank. Four soldiers are planning to enter a building and cut the wires that are connected to bombs. But a German captain named Khan sees the incoming Russian soldiers from the river. On the other hand, the four soldiers are able to take down some of the German soldiers. The German soldiers fight back, and a shootout starts. Captain Gromov of the Russian soldiers is about to cut the bomb wire as they planned, but the German Captain Khan shows up, and the two captains start to fight. Khan manages to defeat Gromov, and he detonates the bomb. The bomb explodes, which results in the burning and killing of the Russian soldiers on the other side. A soldier tries to attack Khan behind, but Khan manages to kill the soldier. Outside, a battle takes place between the Russian and the German soldiers. The German planes shoot the Russians, which are in the river. Back in the building, Gromov and one of the Russian soldiers named Shvanov hears a noise. When they start to check to know what the noise is, Gromov sees a Russian soldier named Serge hanging up on the ceiling. After Gromov manages to take him off the ceiling, he asks him what he knows about the Germans. Chvanov calls him, and they discover that a German soldier holds a hostage. One of Gromov's men attacks the man behind and manages to defeat him. They discovered that the hostage was a woman. Then after, another Russian soldier shows up and introduces himself as Palyakov. The five soldiers sit with the woman together. The doctor states that the five soldiers were his fathers and the woman was his mother. The next morning, a plane crashes and wakes the woman. After waking up, she finds Gromov talking to a soldier with a radio. Then Gromov tells the woman that she should leave or she will die, but she responds that she won't die. The woman asks him for his bottle and leaves. She also heads to the other soldiers and asks them for their bottle. In return, the soldiers ask her name, and she tells them that her name is Katai. On Germany's side, the colonel asks Khan why he let the Russians into the building. He then tells him that they should take it from them as soon as possible. A woman enters the Russians' building with her child. They search her staff in order to be sure that she is not a spy, but they only find sand and dirt. She tells them that they use it to make porridge and asks them to let her go. On the other side, Khan is visiting where the civilians live. He is seeing a woman named Masha. He seems to be attracted to her. This woman happens to be Russian. Because she looks like his dead wife, he shows her a picture. Khan is talking. Unfortunately, the two cannot understand each other's language. Back at the Russians in the building, Gromov is telling them that they should not let the Germans in the building. Chanov arrives and tells them what is happening outside. The German soldiers line up the civilians and ask who entered the building with her child and if she is a Jew. The woman denies it, but they take her and her child to burn them alive. Chanov tries to shoot the officer from the building, but he is not able to get a clear shot of him. With no mercy, the Germans burn the woman and her child alive. Gronov and his men with Katai are watching them from the building. Katai asks them to do something to save the women. Angered, Gromov and Chanov shoot the soldier with flame. As a result of this, a battle occurred between the Germans and the Russians. After the battle, Khan goes to Masha and finds her sitting in the corner holding a knife to protect herself. He takes the knife from her and pulls her up. He then tears her dress apart. Kataya is treating Nikiforov's wound. She tells him that she and her mother used to go to the concert before the war. While this, Chanov comes and tells Nikiforov that Gronov is looking for him. Before he leaves, Kataya asks him if he can sing a song for her one day. Chanov, being confused, asks her why she asks Nikiforov to sing for her. Then she shows him a poster of Nikiforov being a singer. Meanwhile, Gromov orders Nikiforov, along with other soldiers, to take down soldiers scavenging the plane for bullets. The doctor then starts to narrate Nikiforov's backstory. He was a singer and famous among the local people. He gave himself as a volunteer when the war started. Then we see Nikiforov defeating the Germans easily. Later on, Chanov asks Katya if she wants to learn how to shoot. He teases her how she managed living with the German soldiers, then leaves. Triggered, Katya asks them if they want to ask her about it while crying, but no one asks her a question. Later on, we see Paul Yakov comforting Katya and telling her about his family that were killed by the Germans. Katya approaches Chanov and asks him to teach her to use a gun. While he is teaching her how to use a gun, she sees Masha. 
Behind Masha, she sees a German soldier going to fetch water. Chanov tells her to shoot him, but Granov tries to stop her, but she already killed the German soldier. Granov, being mad at them, scolds both of them, but Chanov tells him that it was a German soldier. It happens to be that Chanov families were killed by German soldiers. As the result of this, the enemy tries to fight back again, which Chanov is shooted in his arm. The German soldiers and Colonel Henzi visits the civilians and finds Khan with Masa. The colonel scolds him for falling for a Russian woman and for not taking the building. In the next scene, Gromov asks and forces Kataya to leave them, because the guys are falling for her and if she dies they will fall apart. But Kataya tells him that she wants to fight with them. Gronov tells her that she is underage and she needs to leave, but she shows him her passport, which happens to be her 19th birthday today. Looking at her passport, Gronov leaves her alone. Outside, Serge waits for him and tells him to leave Kataya alone. Gromov, being angry, punches him and tells him that Kataya is not his. The Germans are taking the civilians to the station. Khan arrives to look after Masha. He manages to take a car to find her. The Russians, Serge and Polyakov, successfully launch a bullet to the Germans' camp, which causes the camp to be destroyed. The soldiers celebrate the event happily with Kataya. The doctor then narrates Serge's back history. He is the only one that survives from his unit mission to defend the town. Soon, Khan takes Masha to the camp where Colonel Henzi is located. Henzi scolds him, but Khan promises to take the building back from the Russians, but in exchange, he wants the colonel to let Masha stay with him. The colonel agrees, but if he fails the mission, he tells him that he will kill Masha. In the Germans' camp, Khan orders his men to fix the cannon and encourages them to take the building that is taken by the Russians. After spying on the Germans, Gromov also orders his men to start their attacking plan. Serge and Polyakov take Kataya upstairs so Chanov and Nikiforov pretend to be dead. Soon, the Germans enter the building. The Germans think that they are dead soldiers. Using this as an opportunity, the Russians attack the German soldiers. Chanov then attacks the enemy soldiers outside using a machine gun. Finally, Gromov is also able to capture Kahan, but he gets distracted by Chanov being attacked by the enemy soldier. When Gromov is distracted to save Chanov, Khan manages to escape. Colonel Henzi scolds Khan for failing in this mission again. Then, the colonel heads to the headquarters. The other soldiers tell Khan that the cannon is ready. Meanwhile, Gromov heads to Katya and tells her to leave again. While he was telling her to leave, the Germans managed to shoot the entire house with the cannon. Then the doctor narrates Captain Gromov's story. He has no family. He is a man of war. The only woman he loves and cares about in his life is Kataya. He then begs Katai to leave, which she said no again, and then they share a kiss. We also see Masha reciprocating love for Khan. As they spend more time together, she also falls for him. As today is Katai's birthday, they prepare a small birthday celebration and gift for her. Nikiforov plays and sings a song for her. After they celebrate her birthday, they give her a hot bath as a gift. Serge comes to Kataya and promises her that he will take her somewhere. Then he takes her to his previous lookout spot. He then tells her that he loves her to which she responds with a smile. Meanwhile, Khan is trying to take Masha somewhere safe. Masha is following him behind. Chanov, who is watching with a sniper, shoots Masha in her head. Khan, being shocked, kneels down in sorrow. He also hears an explosion nearby. Soon, Nikiforov fights German soldiers in his way, but Khan manages to shoot him. He then takes him to their camp as hostage. Colonel Henzi appreciates Khan for bringing a Russian soldier. But, Nikiforov manages to kill the colonel before he gets killed. After killing the colonel, Khan shoots him to death. The Germans are going to attack the building soon. Serge wants to go back to the building. Kataya is also asking to go with him. He tells her to stay here and tells her that he loves her. She also tells him that she loves him. Soon, the German tank arrives and starts to shoot the building non-stop. Chanov gets killed in the process. Polyakov survives and tries to attack the Germans, but he also gets killed by Khan. Gromov is trying to reach the headquarters when Khan arrives to kill him. The two shoot at each other until they fall down. Serge arrives and is going to shoot Khan, but Gromov orders him to connect the headquarters instead. He successfully manages to connect the headquarters and asks an airstrike in the area. Serge, Gromov, and Kahan, having no choice, wait for their death by not doing anything. Before they die, Serge assures Gromov that Katya is safe and tells him that she loves him. At the end, Kataya looks at the building being destroyed by the airstrike. She cries and looks at her loved ones dying inside the building. The doctor reveals that he is named after his father, Serge, but his mother always tells him that he has five fathers. Back to the present, Nina and others are rescued by the rescue team. She is finally looking for Dr. Sergei. She finds Dr. Sergei and share a moment together. At the end, Dr. Sergei gives thanks to his five fathers, since they are safe today because of their sacrifice. And with that, the movie ends. We hope you enjoyed our video. 
Watch the next recaps on the screen and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing recaps. See you in the next one.